I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to come right over here. I'm going to get, I'm going to get a little closer to you and I'm just going to sit and talk with you, okay? Okay. <laughs> First of all, I know you see how white my hair is. And I know you see that uh, I'm probably a little on the chunky side, if not a lot on the chunky side. <laughs> you know, one time I was skinny and my hair was brown. Now, along the way, I probably just ate a little bit too much. And, uh, but I can tell you this, and I was looking at these banners, I really believe that I saw Paul Paul at the state tournament in 64, 77, 2000, and 2002. Is that correct? Did they, did they make it to the state tournament? Did they, win the, they won the regional? You probably had to make it to the state tournament by winning the regional. Now, I always was fascinated by your name. But, uh, and I always thought it was really, really neat that you were there representing your school. Now let me just tell you this. You don't live in an area where there's thousands of people going to a school. But that doesn't mean in any way, shape, form, or fashion that you're not just as good and just as important in every single way. It doesn't mean that all these very, very important people that are behind you aren't with you a thousand percent. Now we have a great senator and delegate behind us, we've got a great superintendent, we've got great board members, a great principal, and you've got a governor, a governor that sits right here with you, that would tell you without any doubt whatsoever that his best days his best days are with the kids because I've been a coach forever. You know, when you have the opportunity to be with you and be with you for a day, an hour, a few minutes, whatever it may be, if you can reach out and genuinely touch a life, it really means something. Now, you have achieved and you've done really, really good. And my notes, wherever they are, are going to tell me that you have achieved an attendance and you've achieved a graduation rate that's off the chart. I don't need these notes. And it's really, really good. But let me tell you this. How old are you now? Right again. Think about this. With all the advances in medicine today, there's a really good shot that you're going to live to be a hundred years old. Now just think, however old you are, if you're 10, you're going to live 90 more years. 90. You know, if you're 17, you're going to live for how many more years? 83 more years. Now just imagine, imagine that. Imagine living for 83 more years or 90 more years. And what you do today is going to determine your life. You did great in attendance. You're doing great in graduation. But you got to dial yourself really in. Your superintendent said it the very, very best. Now is your chance to dial in. Now listen, you may say whatever you may say, but you know in your hearts that I really care about you by just who I am and who I, how I talk. I don't talk real fancy like some fancy damn politician. I don't want to be that. You see, I want to be you. 
Because that's who I was. That's who I am. My grandparents on my mom's side never had indoor plumbing. I visited them over and over and over and over. Never had indoor plumbing. My, dad, my, my grandparents on my dad's side, not my dad's grandparents, my grandma and grandfather. Dad was an only child. He was an Air Force captain in World War II. Every day that I ever, met, ever visited my grandparents' house, they had a coal fire burn, furnace, and I jumped across the grate in the middle of the hall at night because it burned your feet. You see, I'm you. I'm you. And I worked really hard, and I loved my family, and they loved back. And now, I'm your governor. You have every opportunity in life to do everything in the world. You have to decide. You have to decide to get after it, get after it right now. Right now is your time that's going to determine your 83 years or your 90 years. Now look, I was you. I did everything as crazy as you do all the time. Thank God I never did anything to do with drugs. Or I never smoked. I never drank. I don't now. I eat too much, but I don't do anything else bad. But I was you. I played every practical joke on anybody I could, and they played them on me, and we all laughed. You see, God above gives you the ability to smile and to laugh. And the other thing I would tell you is just this. You want to smile and laugh. I bet everything I own in the world that every single one of you has something that you're concerned about today, worried about today. God gave you that ability to cope, to smile, laugh, and cry, and be determined. He gave you all that. And He gave you that to use. Now I would tell you with all my soul that you are the greatest of the greatest. Now you've got to bear down just a little bit harder. But you should be congratulated beyond belief on your accomplishments thus far. Never ever forget, forget where you came from. This is where you came from. And this is greatness. To go through life believing that everything on the outside, everything across the mountain is greener and better, don't you buy that. Because you know what you'll want to do? You'll want to come home. Now, it's my job. It's our senator's job. It's our delegate's job. It's our job to make more opportunities for you to be able to come home or to be able to stay at home. I would tell you just this for me, please. Please do just this. Please always remember one thing. And I mean this when I tell you this. I love you. I love you with all my soul. And I want nothing but goodness for you. You've got to bear down just a little more. You've got to reach just a little deeper and try just a little harder. Every single day, or to be just as honest as I can possibly be, you're in for a long, long, long life. You have an opportunity right now to obtain goodness beyond belief. If you end up being a mechanic, be the best. If you end up being a ditch digger, be the best. If you end up being the governor, be the best. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. You got great teachers. You got a great school, a great community. And again, I love you and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me come to Paul Paul. You don't know how special it is for me to come. I 
I've heard about it many, many times. I've never been to Pawpaw High School. I'll never forget it. And I'll be back if you'll have me. God bless you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. 